Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. There's nothing inside. Oh! Will it always be I am the Dark Seraph last time. For Java Shed on Mejed, turns out she was originally Mejed. Not. Stranger is just another word for enemy, right? Sir, wait! I, I'm human! I'm still human! Guts, no glory. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here, yeah, return the DVD and get another. Okay, good old Long Schnoz wants to come and talk. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. Thank you for not being so hostile, Justine. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. If you say so. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. Carolyn, please stop being so hostile. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. God, you have a big nose. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. And some pointy ears, dude. Get some surgery. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. What's new? All right. More experience for fusing we shall meet full again personas. In Time to go, inmate. Stop being hostile, Carolyn. Why is she? Why are you so damn hostile? Sixty percent of the people like. Wait, did that just seriously just say your voice is annoying? Phantom Thieves! So fuck them. I knew it. Oh, Anon. It's anonymous. Oh! Open what? The front door. Why? You never mentioned this. She is still nervous about people. You demon. Hey. Seem confident. Oh. Organic ones. I don't know, I haven't been out. Okay. 
Oh my god, you ruined her Power Rangers. Ah! My children, what have you done to my children? <laughs> They're from Phoenix Rangers, Neo Featherman. <laughs> They're totally Power Rangers. Inari? Uh. Your thief clothes were like a fox according to Japanese folklore. Foxes are Irizushi, thus Inari. Inari. Ah! They were in the perfect poses, too. It was such work getting them to set up just right. You wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face! How dare you tell me, tell that to me of all people? He's the artist! <laughs> yeah. She's already awkward about this. I see. Right, right. We'll be there too. She's awkward. She doesn't know how to react around people. She's a shut-in and she's agoraphobic. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The double charm. Uh, it was Yusuke's fault. <laughs> Don't complicate things further. <laughs> Cut it in a hurry. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Let's head on over. So I can work part time nights part time for the airsoft guy. Hey. I know how that feels. That's right. The Sheba clan. The Yakuza. I always knew you were a thug. <laughs> you got some nerve. <laughs> we made a deal, didn't we? should be grateful. Alright. What's the meaning of this? But... Is that one of your customers? Mm. 
Ah, that helped my proficiency. All right. Later. Customers. What's up? Yo, we're here. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> hey. Come on. Shut it. Hey. Have it. All right, let's go. Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> How suspicious. <laughs> Poor Morgana. <laughs> I don't know what normal is. Neither do I, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice trying to make wow. her more comfortable. Be there too. I'd be mad if you weren't. kinds of chores. Sure. Oh! Hi! Hey! What? Master! Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'll be nice to her. They're just... You... I was curious. Look, I've got a hundred thousand yen. I can pay it right now. What? Are they expensive?
or do laundry. Yes, this is a thing. You can hire a maid just for her time. All right. I'll be there. I'll be there for her. <laughs> I know. Yes, yeah, she's a first year. Freak out now. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> uh, he will throw a pot of curry at your head, dude. That is his daughter. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> he kind of deserved that. That customer totally deserved the mask. Yeah, if we get caught. You did good. I'm gonna be nice to her. I need to go return those DVD, that DVD. I guarantee I'm gonna have to pay a late fee. Man. Oh.
Yeah. Note, honest call to reuse you. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. None of that matters. Hey. Hello. I'm sorry. Huh? What? No, but <sighs> you'll kill us. Incredible. How about a nice one piece? I think it's too small. Yeah, it sounds really pervy. What? She's 15, dude! Utaba is going to the beach. Mm. That's a good place for the lumbar pillow. Yeah, I bought a lumbar pillow today. Probably be a good idea to have one on my chair. Oh my god! Shut up, Inari! Just say it. Yeah, I do wonder who they are. Can I run to the DVD store and return the freak- Oh my god, I hate when the game gets like this. That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. I need to return the DVD. I guarantee I'm gonna have to pay a late fee. I guarantee I got a late fee coming. Maybe not. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so they're gonna be lenient on it this time. Good day. Wow. By September second. Anything new in the bookstore for me? What can I get you? Nope. Can I work for this guy tonight, or is that... It's pouring out. Yeah. Okay. He's busy. I'll work on the customization stuff later. I'm curious about the arcade. Let's play around in the arcade for a bit.
Hmm. I mean, it's something. Well, I'm curious about what that coin locker is. Sure, let's go to the red light district and talk to the dirty old cougar. There's a movie theater here. Okay, I can go there during the day. Oh, she isn't here. Well, if she isn't here, there's no point to me hanging out here. Cafe Leblon. So, if she ain't here to talk with, there's no point in me spending time here. Nice. Hmm. A chocolate fountain. Hmm. Let's get rid of the fountain. Hmm. That's more of a party thing. How about a ramen bowl? Ah, uh, hmm. no. Those aren't really things you I would see putting in a room. do that. <laughs> do you have money this time? Foot right in the mouth, Yusuke. Hmm? What? How rude. Sajiro, help me! You stop that. Hmm. I think so. She's starting to be a bit of a smartass, and I like that. Thank you. I want iced coffee. <laughs> yep. She's a nice girl. It's 
tomorrow? It's soon. I want to prepare myself. Don't force it. The day after tomorrow? Finish this game. Okay. Oh. Hey, wait. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Sunday. Okay. She's getting more dominant. You want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go What's have plan? fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, it's the prick. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Unfortunately. Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. I recommend a fresh boot up his ass. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. It's because you're a prick. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. That's rough, buddy. Mm. She can relate. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. 
many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think she meant that as a compliment. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. Not much of one for coffee. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> Your boldness surprises me at times. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Okay. All right. I don't like this guy. Why does he like me? I don't like him. Come out right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. Fireworks. Can we? I bought some. You went by yourself? Mm hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Soji Ro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Smoke follows beauty. Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to- Hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. A huge one! Sojiro, look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? This is a very cute moment. Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No, no! Job for you. Let's do it. Homeless dude in Shibuya. I. Uh, it's none of your business, really. Okay, collect information. This is totally illegal, by the way. Y yeah. Ooh.
Yo. Hmm. He's trying to protect his son. <clears throat> Damn it. What did he mean, sell him? Just forget about that. You had to see that. Anyways, how did it go today? Did you learn anything good? It's the Hong Kong Mafia, and it's a deal worth a hundred mil. Experience. All right. Yep. Yo. More proficiency from working with the gunman. All right. Later. I'm doing just a little bit of illegal stuff, but you know what? What the cops don't know won't hurt them. Thieves for the win. People are loving them. Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. I'll kick their ass if they do. I won't leave her side. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? You getting excited? Are you sure you'll be all right. It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. You are his adopted daughter. He cares about you. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. We'll do our best. So am I going to see Joker in swim trunks? I don't know if I should be excited for that or disappointed. Oh, man, it's packed. Uh. Sorry for the wait. Hmm? <laughs> 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 Uh, what? Cat got your tongue? Come on. Uh, are we missing one? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Joker doesn't say much. It's the look at Yusuke in the sweatsuit. In the sweatshirt. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. 
Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch too? I'll go get some stuff for us then. You bought all that stuff? Never mind. You're eating that even here? My staple food. So you like instant ramen? This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. That's okay. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On, <laughs> can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Get how amazing we are. We Read risk our chill. lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? I honestly don't care. We're special, man. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what? Hearts. On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as phantom thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right. Let's hurry up and go. Oh, this is a terrible idea. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! This is a terrible idea. Someone's gonna steal their shit. I'm just sort of here. It was mostly him. Ryuji, don't be so upfront. I don't think talking to other girls is going to get them caring too much. <sighs> you feel better? Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> It's the drag queens. No. Hey.
Hmm. Get him! <sighs> Wait. Yes. I guess you could cook them when you're done. I'm very sorry. Uh. <sighs> Douchebag. Thank you very much. You did well holding them off. Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> they want to eat them. <laughs> Utama's already a little bit strange. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pa Utaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You okay? You know? All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing, that's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Uh, I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves. That they steal hearts. That I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. <laughs> Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Hmm. Clever girl. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. 
One was Medjed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. Oh, that felt part of my back that felt good. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. A super illegal girl. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. That the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. I mean, we kind of already asked you to. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Good luck. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought, but perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure, but right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? A damn good one. But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? We've all got a reason to fight. That's just going to drive you to push forward. If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? <clears throat> Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? How about just Dolly Baba? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Also, that could have very bad consequences in the real world. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> You're very blunt. I like it. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? How about Pharaoh? I'll curse you. <laughs> what would you want it to be, Futaba? How about just Alibaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Huh. That works too. 
Sounds great. Then Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never You're even dreamed that You're one of those doomer eyed precursor thingies. Please, somebody get that. Please, please get that reference. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. He set this in motion? Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. Hmm. Who is this guy? Hey. Yeah. There was a man in my dream. What? Okay. I don't want to talk to you. Well, maybe I do. Probably just watch a movie. Something. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I continue on throughout whatever it is I do as a Phantom Thief. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph signing off. Holy shit, I've been going for a while on this one. It's gonna be fun editing this one, isn't it? <laughs>